All right, hey everybody, Alex here with a pretty big day on my channel, pretty big day in my card collecting journey. You know, late last year when I finished up the Bowman set, I talked a lot about going pre-war. I've been kind of wandering around since then. I did get some pre-war cards early this year, but I've been all over the place lately. Let's be honest, the world's kind of crazy, and I guess my collecting has been, but I'm trying to get back on track. And as you can see, I've, I've gotten pretty huge card. This is definitely one of the biggest cards in my in my collection at this point. This is the T205 Christy Mathewson Gold Borders, released in 1911 by Piedmont Cigarettes. This is a card that's been on my bucket list for some time, and I'll definitely tell you a little bit about uh, how I came across the card and how I went about getting it in a little bit. But before we get to that, um, let's take a closer look at it. I'm really, really thrilled with the quality of the of the card. The image is just crystal clear. You can really, really appreciate and enjoy the beautiful artwork. Um, the edges of the card, as is really common with T205s, you can see a lot of chipping along the gold borders. Um, but even those are pretty nice, to be honest. And there is a little bit of a black mark at the top. It almost looks like a pen mark. I'm not really sure, but I kind of made the determination that it wasn't a huge deal. I don't think it really detracts from the overall eye appeal of the, of the card, so I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, so let's go in for an even closer look. We'll put it under the loop and get a real uh, extreme close-up on some of the detail of the card. Um, one of the things that kind of jumped at me when I when I first opened up the package was just how tiny these tobacco cards are. I mean, how intricate the artwork is. They're just absolutely stunning. Okay, so as you can see, this is an SGC2, and in my book, it doesn't really look like an SGC2. Uh, in fact, in the description that the seller posted, uh, they suggested that it could be a three or a four. And, um, you know, whenever I'm getting any kind of card, I don't get it right away. I spend a few months getting familiar with the card. I see examples come and go and just trying to get a feel for what the general condition of the card tends to be and getting a feel for grades and pricing and that sort of thing. So I've seen a lot of these come and go and you know when the seller said that this looked more like a three or four I definitely had to agree. The reason that it's a two though, um, which I'm sure you could suspect, is the back. So let's take a look at the back. and. The issue is going to jump right out at you as soon as you see it. You can see there's a lot of residue on the back, um, something stuck to it, and um, maybe even more glaringly obvious is that the uh, print job is way off center. And so those things are contributors to why this thing got bumped down to a two. I kind of weighed the pros and cons of it, but you know, just to be perfectly blunt, the fact that it was a two was the reason I could afford this card. You know, we always say, you know, who cares about the back, right? Well, I mean, to be honest, I wish the back looked nicer, but um, the fact that the back doesn't look so great contributed to me actually being able to get the card. As for Matthewson himself, I know you guys don't need me to tell you that he was a hell of a pitcher. I'll just share a quote from him that I found. He said, many baseball fans look upon an umpire as a sort of necessary evil to the luxury of baseball, kind of like the odor that follows an automobile. Um, <laughs> the guy, I guess, didn't really like umpires too much. So there you have it, guys, the T205, Christy Mathewson. So excited to finally have gotten this card and to also be able to share it with all of you. Thanks so much for checking out the video, guys. Take care. Talk to you all soon.